All right, what's up everybody? I'm gonna have a quick video today. Um, we've got one new bot here, Virtual Speed Runner. Um, the 1100 rated bot on chess.com. I'm gonna run through this one pretty quick and then I think hop into a Blitz Arena, play some arena games. Uh, I'm gonna be a shorter video today, maybe probably less than half an hour at least, but uh, I'll go ahead and hop on here. I'm gonna try to, try to run through the 1100 bot as quickly as I can, but 11 and 1200s have been known to give me trouble. Yeah, I'm recovering from a uh, bit of a cold, if you can't tell. Ooh, we get the, the um, fried liver. Pawn takes. 95. Bishop check. I think I'm going to pre move that. The 1100 knows the theory of the fried liver, which I guess shouldn't be surprising, but maybe not quite 1100 esque. And the reason for going queen f3 there is that I am pinning this pawn. Queen up. This is not a position I get a ton. Um, because typically black won't allow that. Bishop is pinned. Let me think how I want to handle this. Don't want to move that. Let's jump this knight in. Black's just going to force the trade. I think I'm okay with that. Let's castle. So here we're up a decent bit of material. I think we'll probably just jump the knight in. Take the pawn. Let me go rookie one first. Let's hit this. Gonna give me rookie one. Also gives me this pawn, which I'm gonna take. And then probably just check. Let's do it. It seems like a bad idea. Here it gives me the knight. So it is here, doesn't really matter. This gives me a pawn, but not necessarily the bishop. Yeah, let's go win the knight. Okay, we'll take the knight, hit the bishop. Bishop drops back. Let's go knight here. Looking for knight d6. We are going to get knight d6. King here. I could always take rook takes and then come in with check. Seems like a pretty decent way to play it. I also don't necessarily have the need to. I'm thinking maybe we'll go d3, get my bishop into the game. Think this through here. Check. Assuming black needs to go king f8. King h8 walks into knight f7. Check. And then I guess that's just mate, isn't it? This seems to be a pretty good move. Because there walks into mate. So here we get the check. He might have some kind of discovery. This pawn is hanging. Let's think about this. So knight here, king, up doesn't really matter. Maybe I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking maybe take first is a little bit cleaner. And then probably just take here. So on rook takes, we have the fork. Yeah. That'll work. Take with check. Let's offer the trade of knights. Take the pawn. Take with the pawn. Still hit the bishop. Let's just keep taking. Computers don't want to resign, so we'll clean this up. Take the pin with the bishop. 
get rid of any any chances here. I'd love to see that move. Not going to see it. Let's go here. Perfect. And mate. <laughs> All right, good warm up. Let's go to play. Looks like we are still recording. That's good. Still been having issues with it. Sometimes the uh, the webcam will keep going, but my screen crap screen capture will freeze, which isn't great. Let's uh, we're gonna hop into the three two blitz arena here. Whoa. Never seen that little intro before. Did that pop up? Something about divisions. We've got an 1190 on one bar, which certainly spells danger. Let's go ahead and kick that bishop. Expecting the knight to jump in. Knight does not jump in. Here we'll drop back. I'm certainly going to go pin that guy. Here, definitely want to kick the knight out. I think we'll go here. I'll offer the trade. That's a peculiar move. Take here. Hmm. Let's go here. Offer the trade. I'm going to hit this pawn. Black wants to defend it. He's going to have to weaken the light squares a little bit. Black seems pretty confident in the theory of this position. Does not want to trade. Here I'm thinking maybe just castle. Queen b3 looks interesting. Hit the pawns. Looks maybe a bit more accurate. Let's go for that. I don't know if I necessarily want to take this one. Probably isn't great. I'm going to go ahead and castle as well. Thinking that f4 might be a move here. Might move here makes sense. Missing that I also had uh, hung the bishop over there, I think, with uh, with b5. Black may be seeing that as well. Probably want to leave the knights on the board. Or leave the queens on the board, excuse me. We'll take with the knight. Bring the rooks in. We'll follow suit. Oh, really? I'm wondering if there, it looks like there might be some merit to knight takes c6. Knight takes c6, pawn takes. That looks good for me. Knight takes c6, pawn takes, queen takes. I'm hitting the knight twice, it's pinned. Rook defends. Pawn up. Let's go for it. It's an 1100 rated player. It looks fun. We'll pre move this. My thought is that this was going to win a pawn. I think that defends the knight. And then I go f4. And then that seems to be working out. Probably. Three, two games. We'll go four games in the arena. Then I think I'm probably going to call it. Interesting. Takes. Takes. It's a good move. It's a good move. 
I don't necessarily have to take though. I certainly don't have to take. Let's just jump the queen back. I'm gonna stay on the queen, stay on black's queen here. Probably look for rookie one. Black, understandably, is gonna look for a trade. Probably not the best idea to take him up on it. Let's go queen here. Pawn takes, I'm gonna go rookie one. Queen takes pawn. It's a good move. It's a good move. These eleven hundreds play accurately, man. They don't mess up much. It's a good move as well. Rook in. Maybe Queen D five at that point. double wouldn't be surprised if black tried to kick the queen here yep let's go here nice I'm gonna go queen f5 Here we're going to drop back, hit the pawn. Down to 20 seconds. Got to be moving. Let's hit the knight. Knight here, I feel like rook d7 should be good. I like my position here. It's definitely dangerous for black. Here, what if I just kick the knight? Really trying to get in rook d7. That's the goal here. Checks are fine. Pawn should cover. Checks from the knight. I think. I think uh, Black saw that. This is going to be a bit annoying for sure. Black could try to bring the rook in. There might be some merit to that. Oh, man. Don't think there's a good way for me to get out of the uh, perpetual here. That may have been a mistake. Here, here, okay, this looks okay. I think that maybe black slightly misplayed that. Here we have check, check. Check. Whew. 
Chew. It's a close one. We're going to pull it out, but man. And then here we'll get the pen. 1100s. They're not messing around. They're certainly not going to resign. That would be ridiculous. Wow. Those are some fun graphics. I wonder if they're just doing this for arena tournaments. I haven't seen these yet. I wanted to look up that 1100. That was a pretty decent game. We may go back and look at that one at the end just to see how, how they played. Maybe I played that bad. Maybe the 1100 had a really good game. I don't know. They're just... The 1100s kicked my butt in arena tournaments. They're certainly giving me a run for my money. Maybe 9A5 is good here. Looking for 9 5 Probably just A5 is a good move. Yeah, let's go for this. Looking to hit the bishop. Here, I'm happy to kick it out. And we're going to go bishop d7. That move I'm fine with. I'll drop back knight c6. Hitting the pawn. And even here, I think there's probably a few different options. Let's go rook c8. Maybe queen e7, then we'll go a6. Yeah. Now I could go knight a5 here. Rook d8. I think I'm going to play knight a5 next. <coughs> Ooh, now I really like knight a5. Or not knight a5, excuse me. Taking the pawn. I'm going to. 1074 from stance on the war on Ukraine. Interesting. Uh, joined in 2021. They've been around for a while. Sometimes you get the uh, get the accounts that just joined day of in the arena tournament. I'm going to hit the queen, attack this pawn. Position starting to look pretty good for me. I think black certainly has a little bit of counterplay, but I'm liking where it's heading so far. Let's take the pawn. Probably look to double up. Let's see why just dropping the bishop back to a2. We're rooking. It certainly works. Let's go ahead and double up. B5 could be decent here. Not really concerned if bishop takes knight. Let's go rook c7. We can go ahead and pre-move that. And I think I want to get in b5 next. That move, I was thinking, gives me a tempo. Interesting. It seems like a strange move there to dig in, but honestly, I'm not uh, not unhappy to see it. Kind of like knight c4 here. Expecting white to trade. They probably don't want to let me take that bishop.
it'll be a tough one to remove, but I don't don't think it's necessarily going to be too productive on uh, the side of the board. Opposite my king. I'm not necessarily opposed to letting white take there. I'll pre-move it. If white doesn't take, I'm probably going to push d5. Here I'd probably expect rook f to b1. Don't get it. Pretty good move there. This technically doesn't win the rook because white's threatening the rook on taking b7. But this move I think does. I don't necessarily even want to let white take that pawn. I am going to win the exchange. Yeah, I think it's got to be halfway decent. Here, bishop takes. Interesting. That is not a move I even considered, and I definitely should have. Here, I wonder if I just drop back to queen e7. It seems like it would be decent. Yeah, let's do it. Keep moving here. Keep it on the queen, hit the pawn. h5 can maybe be a useful move. That is a blunder. Here, and then probably bishop e2. Maybe get some use out of queen g5 here. That's what I'm hoping at least. Win by resignation. I like the little celebration at the end. Wood division. Yeah, that little half board split thing is interesting. And I wonder if that's showing you like the board and the pieces that they're playing with. That'd be pretty unique. Got a 1469 here, closer to my rating. It won't just be another how many 10 and 1100 rated players can I beat? But uh, hopefully we can clean this up. Probably do one more after this one. Not playing the full arena today. Just because I don't feel like it. We'll pre move that capture. Don't get it. Knight c3, probably just castle. I could look at going like queen a5. Queen a5 actually seems decent here. On bishop, knight takes. Let's try it. Makes sense. Blue castle as well. Still doing a little bit of baiting here. That's an interesting one. I always feel like there should be a way for me to punish white in these situations by playing too aggressive, but a lot of times they seem to work out okay. Let's go e6. I could look at, <coughs> well, not anymore. I'm going to say maybe like knight d7. I'm even going like queen b6 and trying to hit here. I 
if there's any merit here to rook d8. Okay, bishop a6 first. And then maybe now. Black's going to get an extra pawn, but I'm going to try to get my pieces in the game here. That one certainly makes sense. Come hit the pawn. Definitely misplayed this position so far. That one's peculiar. Maybe just hit the bishop. I'm certainly going to need a good way to dislodge this guy. Might be six doesn't feel right. Bishop F8. Got to get that guy into the game. <sighs> Got to do something about, <coughs> excuse me, about Knight F6. And we got to move. Okay. Seems unnecessary, but we're going to try it. Let's go here. Ton of options. Hit the pawn. Hit the pawn a couple different times. There, I think we'll just take. That's not great. You're gonna have to sack. Normally, I have a great way to defend against it, but. much going here. Really? Push. Oh man, not a great game. Here, we'll uh, just go ahead and resign. Psh, 
joined seven days ago. Yeah, I'm not buying that rating. All right. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, auto resign. We'll go G6. I don't want my last game to be against another thousand rated player. It says the pairings are ratings based. It doesn't really seem like it. I swear I'm not trying to sign up against thousand rated players. I seem to play better against the higher rated ones. It's the lower ones that are always kicking my butt. Old Castle. It's playing pretty passively here. I'm probably going to look to start pushing pawns. We'll go e5, d5. It's pretty blocked there. Let's go bishop e6. Let's go b6. Looking to go e5. Kind of need to here anyways. That move makes sense. I certainly don't have to take on pawn takes. I'm going to take with the bishop. It's a decent move. Let's go for this. This move seems to open up things quite a bit. And I'm feeling pretty fond of that at the moment. It seems like worst case scenario. Maybe here's good. Takes. Knights hit in that position. Let's go here and then 95. Gonna hit that pawn. We'll see what white wants to do about it. Just push. Take here. Jump the knight in. I'm still threatening the pawn on b2. Nigeria. Pawn takes. Pawn pushes. I will go ahead and take this pawn. Go bishop a3. Looking to maybe go like rook d8 and try to exploit some pin here. Black is, uh, I think, a bit annoyingly tied up here. Go bishop b2 again. I have this pawn defended. Here, let's just drop back. Oh, 
I think just double up here. I don't really see a reason not to. Let's just go for that. I think we'll play one more after this one. Hopefully get another high rated player. Not that I'm for sure going to beat the 1090 rated player, but Let's, uh, let's drop back here and hit the bishop. I was looking for one of the rooks in. I don't think I even want to give him that chance. Maybe just bishop a3 here. Uh, that move doesn't quite seem right to me. Honestly, I think I'm just going to ignore it. Bishop here, I'm not really worried about. We'll take and double up, and there really shouldn't be much white can do there. Let's take. If I double up, I lose this threat. No, I think we just do it. Go up a pawn. And here, I certainly don't want to let white double up. So we're going to force the trade. I'm going to look to bring the rook in here. Queen can try to get in. I'm going to go d6. Try to keep that pawn protected. Maybe even queen d8 is better. I think I like queen d8 a bit more. I don't like on queen d6 takes, takes. Pushing this pawn, the rook getting in. This should be fine. Yeah. This will work out well for me. White's going to lose the pawn. White doesn't have to trade, but... I'm up to full pawn at this point, up on time. Should be more than enough. And I've got all these passers, yeah. That'll be game. Love to see king here. Can't take. White's kind of just in a box here. Pawn pushes. No, no, that'll. Let's go here. Okay. Okay. Of course, let's play it out just to be safe. I didn't need to wait until that point to resign, but. One more game, higher rated. Higher rated. Pretty please. 2100. Yep. I asked for it. All right. D4 takes. I in. I like pawn c4 here. We'll go knight c3. Bishop b3. Then probably look for bishop d3. We'll pre move that. Yeah, people really like the. Uh, the tempo there. It doesn't necessarily seem like an overly valid strategy to me, but I like the uh, the resulting position. Thinking queen e2, and then maybe rook d1. I feel like maybe black's trying to provoke me there, but I'm not overly concerned with what that knight's doing. I think here is fine. 
Feels like it should be good to open up the rook here. I think I'm fine if black wants to take. You can think about that. I could consider taking with the pawn to keep d4 protected. Certainly could double up here. Bishop there doesn't really concern me. Let's do it. Again, not seeing a reason not to. Knight e5 here is interesting. Can always take. Still kind of leaning towards pawn takes. That is what, what black goes for. To me, that feels the cleanest. I think if I don't take with the pawn there, I don't like the position quite as much. This one I do like. Quite happy with this position. Need to be wary maintaining these pawns. How to proceed. Bringing the rook in feels pretty good. I don't think I necessarily have a reason to be concerned with queen in. Hitting this pawn, you could always just drop back. That feels like a good position. Black wants to trade, move my king up. Queen there is interesting. So here, do I have queen takes? I don't. Because the queen jumps back. So queen takes, rook takes, check, rook takes, check. Queen here takes, and that's not great. I could push a3 and see if black wants to fall for that because then that's winning. Let's try it. It looks fun. Given the amount of time that I thought on that, am I missing something here? Queen takes rook, rook takes check. because the bishop drops back. I think I did miss that. <sighs> Missed that one too. Yeah. Oh, doesn't work. Does not work. This one's probably not worth playing. Go ahead and resign. All right, slow set of games there. I'm gonna go back and look at some of these. Just cause I feel like, I mean, these 1100s really kick my butt. Like the games are tough. What was first game today? This one. I'm just gonna go open them all up real quick. See if there's anything anything interesting there. I'm not going to review the last one. That was just a poor miscalculation of a tactic. Looks like I pretty much just played that one like crap the whole time. It's getting absolutely destroyed. Did just play terrible. That was a blunder. Yeah. I didn't think that necessarily worked. It was definitely a... Cheeky try. And then Black had a decent position here where they were winning, and then that one was a blunder. Yeah. Okay. 
Next game. Played more accurate there. 1350. Yeah, so I'm not playing great by any means. That one, it looks like it was just kind of a slow grind. This one, that guy played like a 2350. Yeah, that one will that one will hurt. Especially when they've only been on here for a few days. But that's alright. Last 1096. They also played pretty well. Ended up kind of slowly winning, but I'm telling you, those 1,000 rated guys, they play way above their rating. All right. Kind of crappy video. I'm sick. Didn't play great, but uh, we got some chess in today at least, so we'll call that a win. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really enjoy the arena games. Probably going to try to hop in another full tournament here within the next couple days, um, but that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.